to maintain constant velocity within the axial flow compressor and how the flow of air is going to be along the axis of rotating drum along the axis of rotating drum the air flow of air is also going to be in the same axis so uh, here uh, uh, to the strata or whatever the casing is there to that uh, casing uh, strata blades are going to be there and what is the function of the strata the strata is uh, just uh, there to redirect the flow here the, or they will direct the flow onto the next stage of blades or next set of blades here what is stage the combination of both the uh, stator and rotor is nothing but the stage so one stage is the set of this stator and rotor and the second this is the second stage the set of second uh, stator and rotor is the second stage and the uh, third set of uh, stator and rotor is the third stage like that to achieve high pressure ratio the number of stages has to be increased uh, up to four stages or five stages the compression the pressure ratio or the pressure at the end of the delivery is going to be 4.5 is to 1 and uh, how much uh, uh, to have 14 is to 1 we need to go for at least uh, 15 stages then only uh, we are going to have or we can achieve such high pressures right so whenever we need to compress the air the air is going to send into it and there will be a rotating drum along with this rotating drum these rotor plates are going to rotate and because of that uh, decrease in um, volume here see the decrease in area of volume is going to reduce so that uh, there will be increase in pressure as volume decreases pressure increases we already know that so as it, along with the pressure temperature also increases so the stator which we call the other name as uh, stator or fixed blades here and the rotor rotor blades are moving blades here Right? and the air delivery is going to be like this and this is the drive shot to rotate the rotating drum okay this will be in connection with the rotating drum and this drive shot will rotate the rotating drum and along with this rotating drum uh, set of rings or a row of uh, uh, moving blades are going to rotate with it and these uh, stator blades are going to uh, be constant or fixed and they just the function of the state of blades is to direct the flow onto the next stage of blades. In that way, by using the uh, axial flow compressor, we are going to compress the A. So this is the working principle of rotary compressor. And next coming to, okay, in both cases, we are going to know the work required for uh, running compressor. And within this, uh, we are going to have uh, three types one is fan blower and the other one is compressor so what is the difference between fan blower and compressor here the thing is same in fan there will be some veins are going to be there and uh, they will just uh, direct the uh, fans the function of fans is just to direct uh, um, the flow of air okay the function of uh, the or the capacity of fan is to do only the direction but in blower, it can uh, uh, deliver air at some pressure, some uh, 1.1 to 1.2, 1.12 to 1.2, uh, such a high increase in pressure, the, it is going to deliver some pressure, that is blower. And uh, if the compression ratio or the pressure ratio is going to be more than uh, 1.5, then we will call it as a compressor here. That means at high, we can achieve high pressure or we can receive high pressure air through the compressor that is the difference between fan blower and the compressor here the fan function of fan is to just direct the air and whatever the increase in pressure is very very little which is very negligible also and coming to blower uh, somewhat a slight raise in pressure is going to be there and it can direct the flow of air and uh, coming to the compressor it can deliver the air at high pressure ratios and much much higher pressure ratios it can deliver the air that is the compressor whatever it may be these all are the power absorbing machines only and what is power producing machine nothing but generator uh, turbine and all these will come under power deliver power uh, delivery machines okay power power producing machines Coming to power absorbing machines, fans, blower, and compressors are the power absorbing machines. Why we are going to call this as uh, power absorbing machines? 
Why? Because there is no any power output in this. Only such increase of pressure is going to be there. But any power output is not going to be there. And what is the difference between uh, compressor and pump? Here in pump we will deliver some water and in compressor we will deliver uh, or air compressor we will deliver only air here. That is the difference between air compressor and the pump here. In pump mostly water is going to be a working medium and in uh, compressor the air is going to be a working medium. That is the difference between compressor or uh, air compressor and the pump. Okay, coming to the working uh, next, in that uh, we have already discussed the principle of operation or a working, op uh, working principle we have already discussed, right? So like, now coming to work required for the reciprocating compressor, neglecting clearance volume. With clearance volume also we will discuss and by that you can know how these uh, diagrams are going to be with clearance and without clearance and how we are going to get work required. Right. So first of all, this is the PV diagram and uh, what is uh, we are going to send some pressure into the compressor that is uh, inlet pressure of uh, P1 at that uh, how much volume here V1 is nothing but when the piston is going to be at the bottom dead center that we will call it as a total volume of V1. Right. And uh, we are going to compress air until it reaches a certain required pressure until it reaches certain required pressure uh, which we call it this as a pressure p2 at p2 we need the delivery pressure uh, some x that x pressure is going to be p2 here and how it is going to compress here if the pros the compression law depends upon uh, uh, its own nature okay and sometimes it may be isothermal compression it may be adiabatic compression or it may be polytropic compression and after that there, there will be expansion also but we are not going to take that uh, expansion into count so that's why we are going to uh, first going to work out on work required without clearance volume okay we are not uh, going to count the clearance volume as a parameter and that's why we are uh, going to take total volume into account here right so if the this is the thing where it is going to be isothermal and a pv is equal to c that means the, it is going to follow the compression law here is pv is equal to constant which is isothermal process and in adiabatic process we already have pv power gamma equal to constant by using this law the air is going to get it get into get be compressed here and this is polytropic process which is a pv power n is equal to constant here gamma value we already know the gamma value always this uh, n value is always less than gamma gamma is how much 1.4 and this n value is always uh, less than this gamma only we already know that 1.3 1.32 1.33 or 1.4 1.35 like that uh, poly in polytropic process the n value depends <laughs> on several things and it, it is but it is uh, definitely less than gamma value only now that means less than 1.4 only it may be around 1.32 1.35 like that right so the compression process it is going to be polytropic process this is the thing and uh, this is for uh, adiabatic process pv power gamma equal to constant and this is for isothermal constant Okay, and the same thing here we have uh, the same uh, in TS diagram. Yes, uh, isothermal means nothing but the constant temperature. So that's why the process 1 to 2 dash, uh, which is one isothermal process here. This is 1 to 2 dash. Okay, so as the temperature in isothermal means temperature is going to be constant. So that's why it is going to be a constant line here. Okay, this is pressure P1 line in TS diagram and this is uh, P2 line. Okay. And uh, in a polytropic process, uh, entropy is almost constant here, 1 to 2 double dash, okay, 1 to 2 double dash in a, uh, adiabatic process, okay, there will be no entropy change in adiabatic process, so 1 to 2 dash, 2 double dash is going to be S1 is equal to S2 dash, S2 double dash, right, so in a adiabatic process, In adiabatic, uh, in adiabatic process, uh, the entropy is going to be constant. So S1 is equal to S2 double dash. So here the 
the law of conversion is going to be like this and in a polytropic process 1 to 2 uh, it is going to be like this okay the change in uh, temperature that means the whether the temperature or entropy is not going to be constant so it is going to follow in this way right so this is uh, how ts diagram for a reciprocating compressor without clearance volume is going to be taken so what is the operation 4 to 1 uh, as i already said a volume of air a1 as pressed into the compressor at pressure p1 that means uh, at v1 what is the pressure and temperature p1 and t1 and at the same time during some compression law uh, the pressure is uh, increased to p2 and volume here it becomes v2 okay whatever until uh, the uh, delivery valve opens that we will take at uh, that uh, until there we will uh, going to note that point as v2 okay whenever this uh, uh, delivery valve is going to open then we will stop there and we take that as a volume v2 here and uh, so the pressure is going to increase from p1 to p2 and volume is going to reduce see here volume is going to reduce from v1 to v2 here so this much reduction in volume is going to be there as pressure increases what happens to the temperature automatically the pressure along with pressure temperature also increases so the temperature increases from p1 to p2 and what is process 2 to 3 2 to 3 is nothing but uh, delivery delivery of uh, uh, compressed air okay see that is operation 2 to 3 compressed layer of volume v3 at a pressure p2 here p2 and p3 are same here and p1 and p4 are same here right p1 and p4 are same and p2 and p3 are same but not volumes are the same the volumes are going to differ as we are not going to take the clearance volume that's why the v3 and v4 are same otherwise if we consider clearance volume then this uh, v3 and v4 is not at all going to be the same so uh, the pressure and at pressure p2 and temperature p2 delivered from the compressor that means the air at this pressure is going to be delivered to the receiver right so that is uh, the operation how the cycle or pv and ts diagrams has been drawn after that we are going to discuss uh, how work done is going to be there okay uh, we will discuss the remaining thing in next class and if you have any doubts please raise your hand surely please take the screenshot of these uh, five members and forward that to them